So, dear students, under the standard type 2 on non-linear partial differential equation, here we have problem 3. Already we have completed problem 1 and 2. So, this is problem 3. Now, the given equation, if you observe, it has only P, Q and Z. If you have explicitly P, Q and Z only, then the equation is of the form F of Z, P, Q equal to 0. So, first we have to write that. So, after this, we have to mark the given equation as equation 1. And then, we have to make a substitution or by putting Q is equal to AP in equation 1. So, when you put Q is equal to AP in equation 1, what you get? So, here you have to replace this Q as AP. So, what you will be getting is P multiplied with 1 plus AP is equal to Q is what? AP is it. Now, if you see, this P and this P gets cancelled. So, 1 plus AP is equal to A is it. Taking this 1 to the right, we will be having AP to be equal to A is it minus 1. So, from this, what will be the value of P? P is equal to A is it minus 1 divided by A. So, we have obtained the value of P. Now, we have to substitute the value of P and Q in an, in an equation. That is, we know that dz is equal to p dx plus q dy. Now, dz will be equal to p dx plus what is q? q is a p dy. Taking p common, we will be having dx plus a dy. So, taking this p to the left, we will be having dz by p is equal to dx plus a dy. Now, here at the place of p, we have to substitute a z minus 1 by a. So, because we are having 1 by p, we have to substitute the reciprocal of this. And so, it will be a divided by a z minus 1 dz will be equal to dx plus a dy. Now, we have to integrate on both the sides. That is integral, I mean, um, not here. Actually, let's rewrite this properly. So, it will be A uh, multiplied with integral dz by, because z is here, A is z minus 1 is equal to dx plus A dy. And integral dx and in A is a constant plus integral dy. Now, we have to integrate this for which we let us make the substitution. So, when we make the substitution, we can put the substitution as t equal to a z minus 1. So, what will be dt? It will be equal to the differentiation of this which is a d z and the differentiation of minus 1 is 0 because it is a constant. And so, this substitution we have to make here. So, when we do that, this will be a integral, okay, uh, d is z. Actually, a d z is dt. So, you need not write this a also. Is a d z together can be written as dt divided by a z minus 1 is t is equal to integral dx plus a integral dy. But what is integral dt by t? It is log t. So, log t is equal to integral dx is x plus a multiplied with integral dy is y plus the constant of integration which we will take as log b. So, taking this to the left, we get log t minus log b is equal to x plus a y. Now, log a minus log b is what? Log a by b. So, log t by b is equal to x plus a y. So, from this, we can write t by b to be equal to e to the power x plus a y by the rule of logarithm. So, from this what we obtain is t is equal to b multiplied with e to the power x plus a y. But what is t? We have made a substitution as a z minus 1. So, a z minus 1 is equal to b multiplied with e to the power x plus a y is the required solution 
for the given non differential partial differential equation which is of the type f of p comma q comma z is equal to 0 so this is the required solution hope you have understood this problem kindly follow the next video lecture for problem 4 thank you